How did Romans make water flow uphill? If you've ever wondered how the ancient Romans managed to get water to flow uphill, you're about to uncover one of the most impressive feats of engineering in history. Let's take a closer look at how they achieved this remarkable task. The Romans were masters of using gravity to their advantage. When building aqueducts, they carefully planned the route to ensure the water flowed downhill from its source, usually a spring or river, to its destination. However, when they encountered valleys or lowlands, they had to get creative. One of the key solutions was the use of siphons. These were essentially long pipes that carried water down one side of a valley and then up the other side. Here's how it worked. The water would flow down the pipe on one side of the valley, gaining speed and pressure, and then it would climb up the other side, using the pressure to push the water uphill. This method was based on the principle that water in a pipe will always return to its original height, allowing the Romans to cross deep valleys without needing to build high bridges. Another method involved building elevated aqueducts, often supported by arched bridges. These bridges were designed to carry the water across valleys while maintaining a gentle slope that allowed the water to flow continuously. The arches were strong and durable, thanks to the Romans' innovative use of concrete known as pozzolanic concrete, which was made from volcanic ash and lime. When the terrain made it impossible to maintain a gentle slope, the Romans would build cascades or stepped channels. These allowed the water to flow down in a series of steps, reducing its speed and preventing erosion. At the same time, these cascades helped to oxygenate the water, keeping it fresh and clean. In addition to these methods, the Romans also used high-pressure pipes to feed water across valleys. These pipes, often made of lead, ceramic, or stone, were designed to handle the pressure of the water and ensure it reached its destination without significant loss of flow. The combination of these techniques, siphons, elevated aqueducts, and high-pressure pipes, allowed the Romans to overcome the challenge of making water flow uphill, ensuring a constant and reliable supply of water to their cities and towns. This engineering prowess was a testament to their ingenuity and skill, and many of these aqueducts remain functional to this day.